give the Lord a big, big round of applause. He deserves it. He deserves it. Yeah, hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. Glory to you. Hallelujah. Let us allow the Lord to melt all our bitterness. Because apart from Him, there's nothing we can do. we continue with our songs and worship I'd like to share with you before I call the, the people who's going to share who's going to witness for the glory of God you know we have how many sisters here one, two, three sisters and one brother who's going to share to us how the Lord touched them and healed them but before I call them, I'd like to ask you a question. What is healing? I'm sure you came here for a purpose, isn't it? Amen. Some people might be sick tonight or some might have some emotional or psychological problems or whatever problems they have. I'm sure they are here expecting a miracle to happen. Are you expecting a miracle to happen, my brother? Amen. Okay, if I ask you this question, what is healing? How do you understand what healing is? I'm sure you would say, oh, healing is something like, you know, when I'm sick and then I, I'm well. That's healing. But in reality, you know, healing is the process of restoring balance in our spirit, our emotions, our mind, and our body. You know, because man is composed of spirit, soul, and body, isn't it? So when these three are not in harmony, we become in balance. Okay? What keeps the spirit, soul, and body balance? Anyone? Take a wild guess. What takes our spirit, soul, and body balance? Take a wild guess. I like your participation. Let's unwind a little bit, okay? You know what? Energy. Each of the anatomy of man needs energy, isn't it? In a specific detailed frequency. For example, uh, when you see a person strong and healthy, he's full of energy, right? So it's very important that energy, we have to conserve that energy. When there is something wrong, it's normal frequency, as I said, indicates a problem or illness. When we are healthy, it is because all are in tune. Okay? So when a person is healthy, all is in tune physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Let's take, for example, uh, when you feel weak, what happens when you feel weak? You have no energy. Are you able to move 
walk fast? No, right? When you are depressed, do you have energy to do anything? You see people who are depressed, what do they do? They go into a nutshell, they stay, they don't want to go out, they just want to sleep all the time, you know. And when, when you are, because when one is depressed, what is affected? The mind, the emotions, everything, isn't it? So problems, worries, anxieties comes in when one is depressed. And then little by little, that person becomes weak. That person doesn't want to eat anymore properly. You know, when you're, you have a problem, do you have appetite? You don't. So when, when one is angry, you know, when you're angry, what happens? You lose energy. Right? right? When, when after a bout of anger, what happens? <sighs> you feel weak. And what do we call this thing that happens to us? S-T-R-E-S-S? -S? Stress. 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 Stress is a psychological and physiological response to events that upset our personal balance in some way. What do you feel when you are stressed? I know, a per, I know someone here, a friend of mine, she got stressed in, his, in, his, in her office, you know, because there was someone there who was not pretty nice, you know. You know what happens when you're stressed? Sometimes there's a manifestation of heart pounding, you know, when you're mad, you know, your chest, uh, your muscles become so tense, you're breathing faster, you know, everything is in red alert, right? When you're stressed. Where do we get stress? Normally we get stress where? In our jobs, where else? Even at home with our, with our daily chores, with relationship, right? We get stressed. In, in even little things, we get stressed. Even when, you know, we're in the computer, Sister Cynthia. <laughs> Sometimes we get stressed, we get this uh, bad news. You know, so in, in uh, what other things that comes not only physic, uh, emotionally, psychologically, what else? Physically, physical follows. So healing starts with spiritual first. Why spiritual? Because when you are spiritual, when you fix your eyes on the Lord, when you know the Word of God, then there's less stress. Why? Because, you know, when you read the Word of God, you read the promises of the Lord, you start to apply it in your life, like the Lord, for example, in my case, I used to be a, a nervous wreck. And then I saw in the Bible, it says there, uh, do not fear, do not be stressed, for the spirit that I have given you is a spirit that does not fear, but a spirit of love and sound mind. You know, when I was a child, I was a nervous wreck because, you know, as I shared this before, my mom but were like, I would say, uh, as if our umbilical cord still connected because I feared so much that I would lose her, okay? So every now and then, I would have that, I would take tranquilizer, mild form of tranquilizer. When I was growing up, going to college, I still took some forms of tranquilizer, I tell you. So I call myself a drug addict during that time. But when I met the Lord, my tranquilizer became Jesus. So when I started reading the Bible, I find that the Word of God is medicine to our body. Do you believe that? The Word of God is medicine. When you are sick, what's the first thing you do when you are sick? Take medicine. Exactly. Take medicine. The first thing that comes to your mind is what? Go to the doctor. You know. But do you know, the, the medicines that we take are, are just for the symptoms, not for the root cause. Seldom the doctor knows that maybe you're just stressed, that's why you feel that way, you have low back pain, you know, you have arthritis, you have, you know, stomach pain, but that's only caused by stress. 
Isn't it? Isn't it? So what happened? We all know now that there is a link between physical, emotional, and spiritual stresses. We know that there is a link between the physical, the spiritual, and the physical. So no matter how much, how no matter how much medications you take, if you do not help yourself, you know, nothing will happen. That's why it's important to know the word of God because the word of